Christmas. Welcome back to our second half hour on this Christmas Eve. The sound of bell ringing is about to come to a halt, but with volunteers ringing bells for barely half of the available shifts throughout the area, will this year's donations be enough for the six chapters to meet their goals? Fox 11's Ben Crumholtz joins us this evening with some insight from the Kettle Campaign in Brown County. Ben, where do things stand? Well, Tom, Salvation Army officials don't have an up-to-date total for donations, but they say they are 2% behind last year's pace. Now, last year's Red Kettle campaign in Brown County failed to reach its $1.1 million goal. There's concern it could be the same fate for this year's $1.2 million goal. Thank you, Mr. For 10 years, David Jagers has been taking off work to man the Red Kettle outside Fleet Farm in Howard. I take vacation for the railroad five weeks away. I ring the bell. Thank you, Merry Christmas. I believe in the Salvation Army, I really do. Jagers doesn't mind being out in the winter elements. I know the working people shop here, and the working people give good money. But things aren't as good on days like this. Today's kind of a little bit slow because of the weather again, you know, Christmas Eve. Today we're struggling. Uh, as, as we're aware that there are several locations that unfortunately have no bell ringers. Salvation Army officials say a manned red kettle usually takes in more than $60 per hour. They say unmanned kettles bring in only about $2 per hour. We never have enough volunteers. I know what it would be like, and you know what it would be like. People just won't put in if nobody's here. Bad weather days also hurt donation totals, especially ones like last Thursday when Blizzard Brianna took over a prime shopping day. You can't make that, uh, that those donations up. Uh, we lost that day. People don't come in no bad weather, you know, it seems like, you know. Or if they come, they run right into the store and run right out. While donations are down, Salvation Army officials and volunteers are still confident they can reach their goal before bell ringing ends on December 27th. I can tell that the buckets from the yes, there's been more, I've had more full buckets this year than I did last year. Yes. Hey, ho, ho, have a good one. You guys do good work. Yeah, I'll fill the bucket up while I'm here. Now, if the Red Kettle campaign doesn't meet its goal, Salvation Army officials say they'll have to look at their budget to make sure it can still fulfill all of its programs for the coming year.